So here we go, welcome to mailbag video number 48. I receive uh, in the same day all these uh, parcels because I can't stop uh, buying from AliExpress when I go there and I sell so useful things and so cheap. So without further ado, let's see what I received this time. Okay, so let's open the first one to see what is inside. So... I'm gonna start with the smallest one, which is this uh, yellow one. So I received it on uh, 9 September. And uh, please uh, ignore the background noise. It's my little boy. I'm just myself and uh, him at home. So he, be he start to become very noisy in uh, the last few periods. So yeah, let's open this one to see what is inside. Okay, so here we have some capacitors, uh, a kit uh, with the ceramic uh, capacitors, SMD. So they say that the value is from 1 picofarads up to 10 microfarads. And they are 1206 package. And they should be here 20 pieces per each value. So in total 720 pieces. So let's head uh, to my computer and to see how much cost and how fast they moved over here okay so this is the smd capacitor kit which i ordered it. 36 value one picofarads uh, to 10 microfarads and is the 1206 package in total 720 pieces i pay a total of four pounds 52 let's have a look the listing so the listing is there and you can choose between uh, various packages like uh, 0603 and uh, 0804 5 1206 with 320 pieces and the same packages with 720 pieces so now the price the one that i order is three pounds 93 so let's have a look on description if it say anything so smd resistor kit 0402 0603 0805 1206 1210 which are not there so well maybe they had before more stock and looks like the this shop you can find also resistors so one percent five percent resistors and uh, yeah more to say about this one just uh, a kit of capacitors when i was gonna do that project with smd so you're gonna find also for this one the link on the description down below okay so let's open the second one so this one there is any description on yeah, there is something. So it's a uh, 2024 new aluminium powerful desoldering pump suction. Oh yeah, so if it's that one, I order same because uh, uh, I need to... If I put more uh, soldering paste on the SMDs and I need to suck some of that uh, out. So this one is working really good and that's why I bought it to have a new one because the old one that I have is not working really nice. And uh, this one I saw some other people using and they say that is working really nice. So let me open to see how it looks. And it's giving you also uh, extra this silicone tube to put on the top like that is uh, doing a really good uh, contact with the PCB in order to suck very nice. So probably you press it and you press the button and it suck the, the solder. So let's head up to my computer to see how much I pay on and how fast moved over here. So this is the extraction pump which I ordered it, uh, on 31st August on so 9 days delivery and I paid a total of £1.86 on. So let's have a look the listing. So apparently this one is no more on sale. So yeah, I'm gonna have a look for uh, any other link which is with the lowest price possible on this kind of uh, pump uh, suction for the soldering. Yeah, so sorry. It was maybe the last piece which I ordered it. Okay, so I'm gonna definitely put a link on the description down below with uh, something referred to this kind of uh, suction pump. Okay, so let's open the third one to see what is inside. Also, this one I received it on the same day, 9 September. So let's open to see what's inside. So here we go. This is a nice uh, tweezer also for the smd components when i'm gonna do that job so this is also same for the smds i bought it so because uh, allows you to 
get better the, the components and to hold them in place. So let's see how this one uh, should open over here. So I think if I do a cut someplace around here, so let's have a look where can we give a cut, I believe here. And it should open right now. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's opening and it's a nice case and it's a nice uh, tweezers. If I can remove this one, we're gonna be nice. And it allows you nicely to hold the components in place like that. And uh, yeah, has a really fine uh, point over there to hold the parts to all the components. And I ordered just to have for the SMDs when I was gonna try doing some experiments. So let's see how much cost me and how fast moved over here. So here we go. These are the tweezers. So Relief Universal Repair Tweezer for Phone Maintenance ST20. I pay a total of £2.74. Nine days delivery. So let's have a look at the listing. So they are still selling and uh, really looks nice this tweezer and definitely I'm gonna try it to see how it works. And uh, the, the price is £2.73 and uh, if there is anything to say more about this one on description so product description chip tin replacement positioning can position tin implanted steel mesh and operate precisely in a narrow spaces we will gonna see when we're gonna use it it is says which material it is anti-magnetic absorption what does mean made of anti-magnetic materials suitable for magnetic environments such as precision electronics and handicraft industry looks like these are magnets and they don't attract at all to this kind of tweezer but doesn't say if it's stainless steel or whatever it is we're gonna see if it's getting rusted definitely is not stainless steel so i'm gonna put the link on the description down below if you are interested on and finally let's open the last parcel so this parcel also i receive it on uh, 9 uh, september and it says something over there that it says lbx02204 ah it's a number that we don't know what is so let's open to understand what is so here we go yes a nice soldering uh, handle so let's have a look uh, which soldering handle is this one for which type so it says for t12 so why i got the t12 when i build the t245 because i see the t245 work also with the t12 and i have a handle t12 but i'm gonna tell you why i got this one i got this one because it has this metal part over here and uh, because the one that i have doesn't have the metal part and if i set the soldering station to switch off the temperature when this touch the soldering holder the t12 that i have doesn't have that piece of metal and it will not, never switch off because uh, it's not uh, put it with the sensor when it's uh, feeling that you are not moving to then uh, to run for one minute and then to switch it off so that's why i ordered this one to see how it will gonna work so please stay uh, tuned subscribe activate notification bell because i'm gonna need to cut this cable because it has a different uh, connector so i need to solder the wires to the right connector on my uh, soldering station and uh, to make uh, to test to see how it works so yeah please stay tuned because uh, soon i'm gonna do that video so now let's see how much cost this uh, t12 uh, soldering handle with the metal part over here so this is the t12 uh, handle soldering handle it's Sugon soldering station handle, T210, T115, T245, T12. And I pay a total of £10.46, it's quite expensive. And let's have a look at the listing. So yeah, this is the listing and you can choose between uh, which handle you like. So 210 is this one, T12 is this one, 245 is this one, 115 new is this one, then 210K version, there is 210, 245 and 115, so three tips in the in one uh, shot, then you have another C245 over there, and another T115, and another 115, so yeah, I ordered the T12, this one, which is now 10 pounds and 19 pence, 
friends and if we go to see any description there's lots of pictures and they say the second six hole silicon plug is compatible with other six hole handles on the market but as i say i need to change the connector because on my soldering station is different connection and then uh, look this one has also buttons on the handle this is for t21 mm. I might need to do a research to see which type of soldering station is T21, what is the power, because the T245 is uh, 100 watts, something like that. So yeah, you're gonna find the link on the description down below. So here we go, a nice variety of uh, tools. So I have the suction pump for uh, desoldering uh, components from the PCB. Then I have the T12 soldering handle with the metal part over there like that I can uh, make my soldering station to work better also with the T12 because the one that I have it will never switch off and it stay on all the time. Tweezer for the SMDs to work nice with the SMDs and also the SMDs capacitors because as I say soon I'm gonna have that uh, project with SMD so stay tuned for that so I hope you enjoyed this video so don't forget to give me a like please subscribe activate the notification bell to don't miss my next projects until the next one guys have a good day and bye bye